Well, welcome back, everyone. As the graduated seniors start looking towards their futures, we do have some financial tips to help them in the years ahead. All right, financial expert Chris Dixon is here to tell us more. And boy, oh boy, so many choices. Nobody really, it's so hard. Where do you, mm -hmm. you know, where, one of the big things is where do, where do we start? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, here's one place you can start. Mm -hmm. You gotta figure out what type of loan maybe are you looking at? Because okay. there's really two different types of loans. Okay. You've got your standard uh, private private loan mm -hmm. and okay. then you've got your subsidized government loan now there's a big difference between those two right. we're talking okay. a huge difference in interest rates yeah I was okay. looking at some of your notes I, I you, some could be as low as three percent but the yeah. other ones the private ones could be as high as 25 yeah, percent can you believe that so I yeah. can't believe that that's like a credit card it's, right, just, it's, yeah. it's unbelievable well it's even worse so mm -hmm. on some of those loans well a lot of them mm -hmm. the interest is credited daily so you may pay it off by noon but you've got the rest of the day and you can come back the next day and your loan wasn't paid off. That actually happened to me. I paid mm -hmm. off my entire student loan, oh my yeah. gosh. but I did it. Uh, I didn't do it by the end of the day yeah. and I had interest still for the rest of the day I had to pay off. Can that you is, believe that? No, that is crazy. So, so you start off and you, you figure out the, the difference. So how do you, how do you decide? Like, mm -hmm. I, you know, what makes, I guess, the interest rates bigger or lower? Or? So, so the lower interest rate is going to be the government subsidized loans. Okay. Mm -hmm. right, those are going to be like three to 4%. Your privatized loans are going to be higher, 24, 25%, mm -hmm. All right? You want to try and stay away from those if you can. Mm -hmm. Now, some other things that you can do as, as someone coming into college mm. starting out mm -hmm. is look for those scholarships. What I'm talking about, are, there are thousands of mm -hmm. unclaimed yeah. scholarships yeah. each year. That's what I'm I keep on hearing. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. unbelievable. I mean, even if their scholarships are being six foot. <laughs> right? <laughs> Legitimately. So what I'm talking about, about five foot two? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, maybe. Well, possibly. <laughs> possibly, yeah. uh, And also you said uh, look for uh, uh, colleges that will pay? or Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. there's a lot of things that our college, colleges are doing now to mm -hmm. attract new students. So for instance, here's an example. Disney, mm -hmm. Walt Disney, will, if you work for them part-time in some of their programs, mm -hmm. they'll actually pay for your school. So who wouldn't want to work for Disney? Absolutely. Right? <laughs> I want the to work for place Disney. On Earth. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, right now, I'd love to. That's um, awesome. Yeah, you know, so, uh, you know, there's athletic scholarships, there's uh, academic scholarships, and I didn't, I mean, obviously, you, a lot of these kids should just maybe contact the specific college they want to, and they can help as well right? to find those, uh, those scholarships. Yeah, or, they can help, but, you know, mm -hmm. you can go online as well. Mm -hmm. There okay. are, you can look for those thousands of scholarships there's all, all sorts. What are you going? Do you just google it or do you go to yeah, websites? Yeah you can just or google it. These kids these mm -hmm. days you know these millennials all they need <laughs> yeah, is that's true. Google. The millennials. They can do it in their sleep right? right. They don't even need to google oh. it. Yeah they just know it. Yeah. <laughs> but you also say um, to start paying your loans while you're still in college. That's a big yeah. thing right? Right so, mm -hmm. the, so the student loans you don't necessarily have to pay while you're in college. They'll let you delay those student loans. Mm -hmm. But why would you want to do that? Start paying them at least a minimum while you're in college. Get that job Get that part-time mm -hmm. job while you're in school. I know it's not, you know, what what everyone wants to hear, mm -hmm. right? But or it's work yeah. during the summer like I did, yeah. and pay mm -hmm. off those student loans and graduate yeah. debt-free. I told my my son, if you don't go to in-state college, <laughs> you're gonna have to work. Right. Yeah. But you should work anyway. And one last major thing is mm -hmm. a major you said in something oh, useful. That's so useful, important. right? I mean, don't mm -hmm. major in underwater basket weaving. Right? <laughs> I, mean, I love that. <laughs> Unless you want to do that professionally, but then that's yeah. it. Well, yeah, good luck finding that You might not make job, a lot right? of money. Yeah. I mean, but and by the time you're not you know, pay your, your, your education loan. might oh, yeah. be the most money you'll, you know, you'll ever give out and, and never make. That. Look, look for things that are practical. These mm -hmm. days, the four-year institution may not be for everybody. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of trade schools mm -hmm. where you can graduate mm -hmm. and make six figures. Right, and half the time Dang, and half yeah. half the student yeah. loans. That's absolutely a big not one. everybody is for you know college right. or university, and yeah. like you said, it's about making money, right? That's at what the it's end about. of the day, at the end of the day, yeah. right? The end of the day, yeah. you got to pay the bills. All right, That's thanks right. so much, Chris, absolutely. for coming in from the Oxford. Great, Oxford. Thanks, Thank you, <laughs> and we'll be back with more Carolina Morning right after this.